So if you just watched my room tour, you'll know what's coming next. It's my uh, dresser drawer organization. And I didn't actually, I decided not to film the actual organization of my drawers um, because honestly, 90% of them were already organized the way that you're about to see them. Um, I have had them that way for a long time. It's maybe about once or twice a year that I'll decide to change up a drawer or two, but I don't usually stray too far from how it is now. And um, I'll say when I'm showing you the drawers what I've recently changed, if I've changed um, it. So uh, that's why I decided, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why I decided not to film my process because it was already done for the most part. It was just like a couple of drawers I did. And that was basically just like, I had just finished organizing my, organizing my closet and I was about to donate a bunch of clothes to Goodwill and I just wanted to be sure that I went through my drawers and kind of weeded out anything out of the there that I wanted to um, donate as well. And so I ended up kind of on the fly just rearranging a couple of drawers. But I'll take you into them now and uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, see you on the flip side. Catch you on the flip side. Right. <laughs> okay, so here we are at dresser number one, we'll call it. And this is the one that's right next to the bathroom. Um, has the two big mirrors over it, and my bed, our bed is over here. Um, so it's probably the most convenient for Don. And so that's where I focused his drawers. Now, I'm just going to preface this by saying that Don does not have a lot of clothes. He's just not one of those guys that has a lot of clothes or needs a lot or feels bad if he doesn't, you know, he just... He wears so few of them anyway, he likes to wear the same things over and over again. So he's got three drawers in this dresser and that's it. Those are his only drawers. He has all of these drawers in his um, side dresser if he wanted. They're, they're basically all empty except for some remotes and things. Um, so if he wanted to fill those out or if he wanted more of these drawers, I'd happily give them to him. So please don't feel bad for him. He doesn't feel bad at all. It never even crossed his mind that he would ever want more drawers and if he did I'd happily share. But um, I just know somebody's gonna say something that I have all of these drawers and that whole thing basically is all my clothes and most of this and he only has three. Well don't worry Don is fine. <laughs> okay so the um, top two drawers are my um, you know, personal under things. So I don't really think it's appropriate to show that, but I have gotten some questions about how I organize those sorts of things. Um, so this drawer basically has all of my underwear and this one has all of my bras. And I basically with my bras, I just, I, I lay them flat, but kind of um, propped up against one another. And there's two rows of them. So let's see, there's uh, one row goes back that way and one row goes back that way. And they're just, like stacked one behind the other and I find that's the easiest way to see them and to pick out the one I want without like disturbing the rest it works out fine and then in this drawer I have probably about the same sort of situation but it's more like five or six rows of underwear because underwear is obviously a lot shorter than a bra laid out flat and again it's I do it by type so I you can <laughs> figure out what that means but they're just rows going back and I do fold them and I find that, I, and I just lay them one on top of the other, and I find that just like the bras, that's the easiest way to um, see what I have and access what I want to wear. So, moving on, we have Don's drawers, and I guess I can show you his under things because they're not as, um, you know, personal. But there's his uh, boxers and briefs, and then his socks organized by color, uh, obviously white, brown, and black. Um, obviously, I put the ones he wears the most, most accessible, so it would be white and brown. And then the black socks are just behind there. And then this drawer has his shorts, and his, basically his loungy type clothes. So during the winter, um, we're, we're homebodies. We're home a lot um, when we're not traveling. Uh, so he has a lot of pajama pants, um, two stacks of them. I think he has something like eight pairs. Um, right there and then he's got his swimsuits in the back here and his mesh shorts. This is what he mainly wears in the um, summer and warmer months and also what he works out in. Um, so that's basically his sort of, and his clothes don't fit as nicely because they're much larger than mine but, and he's a boy so he messes them up. So they don't look quite as neat as my drawers. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I'm like talking a mile a minute here. 
Sorry. And then his last drawer are his undershirts. Um, all of his t-shirts are in the closet, um, which I did show in the closet uh, tour. Here, I'll just show again so people don't get upset. Um, this is where the majority of Don's clothes are. So you can see his shorts, his polos, his nice shirts, his suits, um, jeans, nice pants, sweatshirts, shoes, all of his t-shirts, and all of his sweaters. That's the way he prefers it. It's easier for him to see what he wants to see. He doesn't like reaching for things in drawers um, as much. Obviously, I insist on putting his under things away because they're just unsightly and hard to keep organized. But this is, this is what he likes, and he has more than enough shirts and clothes. And I don't want anybody to feel bad for him because he doesn't feel bad. But I just have two um, stacks of undershirts, you know, white and then gray and black, and he basically just wears those to kind of lounge around in or to work out in. Then we move to the bottom drawers here, and they're more my loungy clothes, and I actually just reorganized this a bit. Um, I'm constantly, maybe once or twice a year, kind of, you know, tinkering around with my drawer organization. Mostly it stays the same, but sometimes there's one or two drawers um, that I changed around and this was the one I changed around this time so before I had all my swimsuits in here which was sort of wasteful because I don't use them that often um, whereas I use these pants a lot these are my sweatpants my Lululemon sweats Lululemon capris sweats um, and my hardtail yoga pants which are my favorite um, and these are Victoria's Secret my favorite lounging yoga pants that I mainly wear in the winter and fall but I wear those Lululemon sweats year-round. And I left a little space in the front because I think I'm going to invest in some um, legging-type um, lounging pants for the winter. And that's what I'll put there. And then in the bottom, I have my um, nighttime stuff. Oh, there's some underwear in the store. Okay. Uh, so, well, I don't know if I'll edit that out or not. But basically, I wear nighties. So this is maybe a little personal, but I have um, some big t-shirts, long sleeve um, sleep shirts, and then what I call nighties. Um, that's what I prefer to sleep in. And then I have some sort of, um, what I, just like underwear that I wouldn't wear during the day that maybe I would throw on to like lounge about and stuff. And in this drawer, I have my, um, you know, pajama pants. I have two stacks of pajama pants, just like Dawn. I have two pairs of, Sweatpants from Victoria's Secret Pink, they're Cubs. These are sleep shorts. And then I have tank tops that are just for, you know, lounging around or sleeping in if I ever feel like doing that. And other tank tops and shirts for that purpose. And that's that whole dresser. And I have to have a drink of water because I'm like really out of breath for some reason. We'll have uh, Winnie be the intermission entertainment here. She's pretty entertaining, I know. Then over here in this dresser, this is all my stuff. Yes, I have a lot of stuff, but I have the space for it so I don't feel bad about it. And like I said, Dawn's perfectly content. So in this top drawer, I have my slipper socks, basically. Um, and these are all from Gap Body, and I've had some of them for maybe five or six years, to be honest. And I bought like one or two new pairs a year and I probably throw out one or two that are holy a year. I just, they're my favorite slipper, so so slipper socks and I just can't, I wear them all fall and all winter and like most of the spring. My feet get really cold really easily and those help me out a lot. And I have some bandanas um, and such right here. And then these are a, like a lighter weight slipper sock that I got at Nordstrom a really long time ago and I wish I could find those again but I haven't been able to. A nice lighter weight option and then this cabinet is one I recently changed um, it's a little bit dark I'm sorry if it's going to be hard to see I'll pull the clothes out these are basically my um, what do we call these who has an idea they're like um, that swishy material I want to call them like warm-up pants I think that's basically what you call them I have those in here. I used to have these and my like sweatpants and, and lounging yoga pants all in one drawer down here, but I needed more space for my running clothes since I've sort of expanded upon that collection lately. Um, so I kind of moved things around and I think this is okay in here. And then this little 
bottom section is sort of my rumpus area. So not the front, obviously, because that's easy to access. These are all my um, kind of dance pants for Zumba class, and I wear these mostly in the um, cooler months. They're um, from Lululemon, and then it's hard to see, of course, because it's really dark. But in the back, I have my swimsuits, my, um, you know, my, um, like, Speedo swimsuits, not my... Um, just like vacation or whatever bathing suits. Um, and the reason I have them back there, along with, um, it's hard to see, but those are biking skirts and skorts and like biking shorts. And I have those things in the back because I don't um, swim or bike very often unless I'm injured. And if I am and I'm not doing more um, impact cardio, then I'll bring those things up to the front. Um, but since I don't use them consistently, I keep them in the back and that's fine. Then, now this drawer does have under things in them, but they're my workout under things. They're not like my pretty everyday under things. So I feel like it's okay to show and then you can kind of get a sense of how I organize my under, under things. So on this side here, we have all my sports bras and I've organized them by um, type basically and by how often I use them. And then over here I have um, all my athletic socks, and these are socks that I just use for um, exercising. And they're also organized by type. And I do have certain socks that I like for certain activities. But I might go into that. I'm going to do a fitness and health series on my other channel. So I'll probably go into that there um, at some point. And then those are all workout undies. Um, so, um, you know, I guess I'll tell you, they're briefs. These are briefs, is that what you call them? I don't even know. Like regular cotton underwear from Gap and then my um, Lululemon underwear that I like so much and then I actually have more underwear back there that's specifically for yoga, um, but there's that. Speaking of yoga, this is my yoga clothes drawer. <laughs> I kind of, um, not exactly, but they're kind of, the drawers are differentiated by type of sport when it comes to workout clothes, but not like, it's not like cut and dry, it's, you know, whatever. I have all my yoga pants in the back here, nicely folded. These are capris, which I don't actually like to wear capris to yoga. So I'll wear these mainly to um, Zumba in the warmer months. And in the back, I have two rows, or two stacks, I should say, of um, yoga tops. These are like kind of pink purpley ones, and these are um, blues and whites. And then these are my little spandex shorts, which I would never wear to yoga class because I just I just wouldn't feel comfortable. But I use these to do circuit training mainly at home. And then over here, these are sort of like, I guess you could wear them for yoga. They're kind of swing tops, I think of them. I wear them for Zumba and I wear a sports bra under them because they're not very supportive. Um, they're just, they're too loose around the middle for yoga. I get, so I don't want like my stomach hanging out when I'm upside down and stuff. So I just don't want my like, these aren't tight enough, like my yoga tops are more tight so they stay closer to my body when I'm in poses where I might be inverted or whatever, whereas these would go like flying up. So I mainly wear these for Zumba because they're nice and airy. But like I said, I prefer to wear a sports bra under them because they're not very supportive. Then this drawer has sort of my um, cardiovascular exercise outfit stuff. So, um, and again, organized kind of by type. So these are t-shirts, which I would normally wear um, either for Zumba or skating or on, when I'm on the elliptical machine or something like that. These are all my running tank tops. They're, they're sh shirts that I like specifically for running and I mainly only wear those to run in. And then these are other tank tops that I use, again, for those other activities like skating, um, the elliptical machine, circuit training, Zumba, that sort of stuff. Then I have my running skirts, they're actually skorts, and my Nike running shorts, which I love. And then these are other shorts. And actually I wear these a lot for lounging in um, and not as much for exercising. Or if I'm gonna go for like a long walk or something, that's when I'll wear those. And then this bottom jar was the newest one that I organized just like this cabinet in that drawer in my other dresser where I have my lounge pants. This is where those pants were before with the, um, you know, I don't know what we're calling those warm up pants or whatever, but I needed more room for my running stuff and I had all this stuff in here before and it was just too jammed because I actually use this a lot, especially when it's cooler. 
So um, I decided to dedicate a whole drawer to it. And this is basically all stuff for running or I suppose skating when it's a little cooler out. I do wear some of these things. Um, they're just, they're layers. So thermal layers, um, you know, pullovers, and then capris, running capris, um, even warmer things. These are like running pants and leggings that are really warm. Um, I have um, running gloves and arm warmers, and then these are running pants that I don't wear very often, but I have them. Then over here, we have all my socks that are not athletic socks. So like I showed you, I have all my socks that are for exercise specifically in the drawer next door. These are all my other socks. And it does look like a lot of socks, but they're kind of for seasons. So they go from uh, warmer months, uh, right, warmer months to colder months. Um, over here I have my really lightweight cotton socks. Um, you know, very thin. These are, this middle one is more of my like fun socks that are more colorful and stuff that I might wear more in the spring or summer when I'm wearing pants and you wouldn't necessarily see them. And then these um, thicker socks that I got at J. Crew a long, long time ago and I love them. They've lasted great. Are more of like a spring, fall sock because they're just thicker. Um, so they keep my feet warmer. And like I said, I do have circulation problems and it's, I, it's, I have to work really hard to keep my toes circulating <laughs> blood, so that's why I have so many kinds of socks over here. So speaking of which, I have a lot of cashmere socks. And um, Banana Republic, these, I mean, they're so many years old, you can see they're pilling, and I should probably depill them. Uh, but I've had some of these for six, seven years, and I take extra good care of them. I hand wash them, I air dry them, because I love them. It's really hard to find short ankle length cashmere socks and I just don't really like higher socks in general unless it's really cold and I'll get to that so that's why I love those I do have some of the more traditional like regular length cashmere socks in the back but I don't wear them very often so that's why I keep them in the back and then I have some knee socks here some fun ones and some um, more practical ones that are wool so these are wool if it's really cold and I want to take Winnie out and I want to bundle up I put those on. And these ones, I actually, when I was injured last um, winter, when I had my stress fracture, I bought these to keep my legs warm because I had to ice a lot and stuff. And I actually ended up really like liking wearing them. They help keep my whole lower legs warm. So um, I decided that I would hold on to them. I would give them away anyway because they're cute. Then in this drawer, now we get to like the more practical clothes. A lot of my clothes are in the closet, but these last three drawers are basically all tops and they're all like t-shirt tank tops. So this drawer is all tank tops. <laughs> we have sort of patterned, more fun ones. And then we just get to the like regular tank tops here. And these ones in the front, this like, these two stacks would be ones that I would um, be comfortable wearing, you know, just on their own. That's what I bought them for. Of course, I could wear them under something if I wanted. The rest are basically for under stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, these are also... Okay, let me say that again. So these ones in the front and this stack right here are tank tops that I bought specifically to wear on their own. But like I said, I could wear them like under a sweater or something. It's not like I can't. But these ones, these three stacks in the back are mainly meant as under undershirts. So these are actually camisoles from um, BP at Nordstrom's um, and other camisoles, different kinds. Because I wear a lot of sweaters and things like that in the fall and winter that it's nice to have different selection of camisoles for. Down here I have all my t-shirts. Um, sort of organized by type. In the front I have just plain solid t-shirts. These are the, what are they called? I think they're called Perfect Fit. Yeah, the Perfect Fit t-shirts from J. Crew. I love. I have them in basically all of my favorite colors that I would wear either under something or as a standalone. And then these were also J. Crew that they had for a season. These are different. They're more like this material. Um, but these were like this really soft material and I wish they would come out with them again because they're just a nice drapey v-neck shirt and I just, I really like them. Then this stack is sort of the um, sparkle stack, I call it. They're all the shirts, and I, I gotta admit, many of these are from J. Crew. I'm a big J. Crew addict. But um, 
I really like these. They have like glitter detail on them. And I just keep them in one stack because that's what I know what's in that stack. Oops, I just messed that one up. And then this middle section is just sort of run of your mill kind of decorative shirts. And then over here, this is sort of my fun stack. So this will have, you know, ones that I probably wouldn't wear just anywhere. Um, they're more of my like the Snoopy Cookie Monster, um, Mickey Mouse, and then I have my uh, Cubs and my Bear shirt. And then I also have one for St. Patrick's Day in here. This is a Hello Kitty shirt. Um, just sort of fun t-shirts on that side. And then this last drawer in the bottom here has all my long sleeve and three quarter length shirts. So um, the ones in the front are three quarter length. And I fit these in this way. Oh, and I've been experimenting with lining my drawers. I haven't done that yet, but I'm just trying to see if I like it, if it's worth it. Um, I like um, filling the drawers as much as possible. So instead, see my clothes are much shorter than Don's. They don't take up as much room. So I found that by putting um, two piles of shirts in each drawer this way, I could really utilize the whole space better. And I don't mind that they're not facing the same way. It doesn't bother me. Um, so these are three quarter length shirts in the front. And then over here in the back are all long sleeve. These are just sort of like ones I throw on to lounge around in. These are ones with hoods on them. And then over here, these are like just plain long sleeve shirts. And then on the bottom, I have plain, very thin, like tissue weight um, long sleeve turtlenecks that I wear under stuff in the winter. Oh, we're almost done. Okay. And then last part here in this cabinet, um, keeping in the vein of the socks and whatnot, I have all my tights um, and as well as my capris that are like tight like. Um, as well as these little uh, sort of stockings that are only um, knee high. Uh, so I have black tights that are just black plain or black pattern, gray, and then brown. In the front, these are these, look I even have one that's not open, capri leggings, things like that, that are sort of like a tight weight. They're not, um, they're not like spandex. Um, and then I have uh, oh, the more capri ones. So these are the colored ones and these are the black ones. And I wear those a lot in the fall and spring when it's a little too warm for like full out spandex capris. Um, there's that. And then the last clothing place is this. And this has all of my shorts and capris in it. So I have all my shorts that go from jean to um, not jeans, so more like a khaki material. And the, at the bottom, they go by length. So the ones on the bottom are the longest, and then they get shorter as they go up to the jeans. And I don't wear shorts that much. I wish I felt more confident to wear them because I love shorts, but I'm working on that. And if you're interested in learning more about that, you can check out My Housewife Life, where I am talking about that on my fitness and health series. Now here are these sorts of capris that are more spandex heavy weight. Um, I do wear these a lot in the fall and winter, not so much right now, so I should probably switch them out because behind them I have my um, like jean and regular pant capris, which I do wear more in the summer. Um, of course, I don't wear those a lot in the winter, which is why I have these in the back, but I know they're there, so I don't really think about it when I want to reach for them, but I suppose I should change it. And then, lastly... I decided that I would show you my bedside table. I'm not going to show you Don's because I didn't ask him if I could. It's not like he has anything to hide, but it's kind of a private thing, you know. It's his drawers, and most of them are empty anyway, so I'm just going to show you mine. So this is my side of the bed. Obviously, there's Winnie's little crate and such. And basically, I just have, um, oh, well, I do have some clothes. I forgot. I just moved my swimsuits over here. So... Like I said before, I don't wear these things that often. Of course, I wear them more right now, but it's not like I need access to them every day. So I figured it was okay to put them in here and they fit really nicely. And I wasn't using these two bottom drawers for anything anyway. So these are all my cover-ups. And then over here, I have um, more cover-ups and shorts and like sarongs and things like that. My wet suitcase. 
And this drawer has all my bikinis, <laughs> and I know I have like an exorbitant amount, but lots of them I've had for five or more years, and I just love them. And I do wear all of them, and I do kind of go through phases of wearing certain ones one year and then not, and then I wear them again. And I have them all in order, basically, of how often I wear them. So this is my newest suit. It still has tags on it. But, um, so my most worn ones go on the top, so it's easy to get to. And then all of the tops, I have an order from how the bottoms are stacked up. So the bottom that matches the bottom most bottoms, wait, let me say it again. The bottom top, wait, the top here, wait, <laughs> I can't figure out how to say this. The top that's on the most bottom of this stack matches the bottom that's on the bottom of the bottom stack. It's like a Dr. Seuss book. Anyway, and they go up, obviously, in order. So that's how I keep my bathing suits organized. And it might not look that organized from the outset, but believe me, it's hard to organize stuff like this because it's hard to fold. And I just find this works. And I just, I have this little sachet in here to keep it nice and smelling. Then, these are just, these aren't closed drawers. They're just stuffed drawers. So I'm going to sit over here. Let's see. This is my, um, you know, I'm sure there's a name for this. I don't know what it is. It's like you put it on your lap so you can put a book or, or uh, like a journal or something on it to write on. And I've had this one for probably about 12, 15 years maybe. Yeah. So I use that every night when I write in my gratitude journal, which is right here, which I talked about in, I believe, my organizing your time reading and writing video. I have the probiotics I'm currently taking, which I take every night. Pens, um, paper, and, and sticky notes, because sometimes I think of things that I want to write down so I don't forget. Um, lights to read with if Don wants to go to bed. More probiotics that I have taken but I'm not taking currently. And then a whole lot of bookmarks. So that's what's in here. And then up here, it's a little bit empty now, but um, I have all of my um, lotions and such that I use at any given time. So currently I've been using these Lush lotions, and I use these every night. This is the Fair Trade Foot Lotion and the Helping Hands, obviously, for hands and feet. And I usually have a lemony flutter cuticle butter from Lush, but I've been out of it for a few days and I have to wait four more days until I go downtown to buy it. But I'm going to buy like four of them because I go through them so quickly. But I use those things every night. Um, so instead of the lemony flutter, I've been using up my Cuda cocktail from Spa Ritual, which is cuticle oil. I have some lip balms and chapsticks. It's a little sleeping mask, a, a night light, if, I mean a flashlight, um, emery boards. This is stuff I might like think at the last minute I need. That's a thermometer. And then these are some hand and foot lotions that I'm not using currently, but have used in the past. And if I ever like run out, I'll go back to using them. And some body lotions and body butters and some muscle easing um, things. This is sore muscle jelly, um, dragon ice, which is actually really effective. Um, and this little pouch, I'm trying to remember what's in here. I think it's rocks. Oh yes. Yeah is rocks, but of course you can't open it with one hand. Well, they're little rocks that I've collected over the years that have things on them. So this one's a tree. I love trees. This one says believe. This is fun. I forget what's in here. Harmony. Peace. There's one more. Oh, a little paw. Oh, there's one. Wow. And namaste. So that's kind of fun. These are just little things, you know. I didn't really know where else to put. And sometimes I like to look at them. Whatever. You guys know. You guys know what I mean. And that's it. That is all the drawers that I can show you today. <laughs> and that's the rest of my clothes collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hi. I hope you enjoyed my mommy's drawers. They're very neat, aren't they? I don't know why I'm waving and talking at the same time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Winnie and I just wanted to say thank you for watching my dresser drawer organization. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Here, I'll stop tormenting you. Um, you're so cute. Are you a cutie? Like I said, I didn't really want to like 
go into my underwear drawers. I did show you a little bit, I guess. Um, but I, I hope you'll understand why. Why, you want to come back up here? I thought that would be annoying. Um, but trust me, it's organized nicely in the drawers that I just chose not to show you. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what my next project's going to be. I only have about a week and a half before we go to Utah for two weeks. And I do want to do one project um, between now and then. I just have to decide which one it is. Um, I'm kind of thinking it's going to be my mudroom because that's the smallest, literally, like most manageable size project to do. So you'll find out because I'll be posting those videos soon. And then um, I am going to do my one year anniversary video and I think I figured out the prizes for that. So that should be exciting. I'll be filming that next week. So stay tuned for that. It'll be worth checking out. There's going to be some cool prizes. And um, da -dum. when I'm in Utah, I am going to film, a, like, I have one project planned for Utah, actually. But aside from that, I'm just basically going to be posting the stuff that I'm filming in the next week and a half. And then I'll be home again, and hopefully I can start working on a bigger project. So... That sort of was the long-winded way of telling you that I don't really know what's happening next, but something is. So you can be sure that I'm going to be posting stuff now, um, now that I'm home, kind of, sort of, for a minute. <laughs> and um, I am posting a lot on my Housewife Life if you're interested. I know I mentioned that I am starting a health and fitness series. I did film a couple things already, and I'm taking suggestions for that. So if you're interested, go to um, My Housewife Life. It's my other channel here on YouTube. You know, I'll like, I'll put that information below and I will also link it below. Uh, I'm going to start posting those immediately. And yeah. So thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you're having a fantabulous summer. You're staying cool and dry and it's been rainy here a little bit and not losing your power like everybody around us, fortunately. We haven't lost ours, but um, hopefully you guys are having a safe and happy and healthy summer. Uh, and uh, I'll see you real soon. Okay, take care, you guys. Bye. Bye. Let's have an extreme close-up moment. Bye. <laughs> that was an extreme close-up. Winnie, where's the camera? Bye, you guys.